everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video about my best and worst drugstore concealers. Now this video is a series, if you haven't seen the other videos in the series then go and check them out, I will link them in the information bar below. I've done my favourite or best and worst mascaras, eyeliners and foundations that you can find in the drugstore or Boots and Superdrug if you're in the UK, I know drugstore is an American term. Anyway. I'm going to jump right into it because I've got quite a few to talk about. The first one is not going to be a surprise if you watch my videos because I talk about this all the time. And for my viewers in the UK, I'm sorry you can only get it in the US. And it is the Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette and it looks like this. Now if you are in the States, you can pick this up from Target and it's $10. Which I just think is an absolute bargain. You get three different colours of concealer. You get a lighter shade, a darker shade, one that has a little bit of green in it and then a powder to set them all. Um, and I just absolutely love these concealers. They last all day on me if you set them with the powder. They're nice and creamy, you can conceal spots really well with them if you have any redness. The green tone works really well. You can mix the colours together to get the right tone for your kind of under eye area and absolutely love this. This has been in my makeup bag ever since I bought it in September when I was in LA so absolutely love that. That is my kind of number one favourite drugstore concealer. Love that. The next one I have mentioned a few times before as well and it's from Rimmel and it is their Match Perfection. Now this is more of an under eye concealer. It's kind of the drugstore version of YSL Touche Eclat if you guys have tried that. It's a kind of cult um, concealer highlighter hybrid product. And the thing that I like about this, it comes with a brush and you kind of squeeze the product out and then you can apply it. And then I just blend it with my fingers. Yeah, it really just kind of brightens up your under eye area, gets rid of dark circles. Um, and it also, if you want to do kind of like a highlighting, like you can put a little bit down your nose and on your chin and just kind of brighten up your face. I like to do that as well. And it is quite cheap. I think it's £5.99 in the UK. So that is good. Absolutely love that. It's my second favourite. The third one is a fairly new discovery, and I have Tanya Burr, or Pixie Twoo, to thank for this. She always raves about the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Longwear Concealer. And I went and picked it up the other day. This is really cheap. I think it's £3.99 or something like that. And it is a kind of like a creamy liquid concealer. And it's really quite thick. So if you like kind of high coverage concealers, all of these are going to look very light on my hand, by the way, because I have been out in the sunshine quite a lot this week. The thing that I like about this is that it does offer really high coverage. It leaves a kind of like very nice flawless look. It lasts all day as well. It does say 16 hour wear. And usually I won't, I don't know if I would have, yeah, I guess I would have my makeup on for 16 hours, but it does last all day and it's really cheap, really good, love that. Okay, so my last favourite is from Witch. And if you are in the UK, you might have seen Witch as a skincare brand. It contains Witch Hazel. And this is a stick concealer, which is meant to help kind of combat blemishes. Now, I only use this on certain blemishes because I have quite dry skin. I tend to get quite um, dry blemishes as well. And you don't really want to be putting a stick concealer onto any dry areas of skin because it will just highlight any kind of flakes that you have or anything like that, which just isn't very nice. But if you do have a kind of juicy blemish, um, for want of a better word, I'm trying to think um, of something else there because that's just a really gross thought. Or if you have oily skin um, and it's not a dried out blemish, then this is actually really, really good because it does offer quite a high level of coverage. There it is on my hand again, looking very light, but it also contains witch hazel, so it is um, kind of treating your spot at the same time, so I really, really like that. Very, very good. So they are my top four drugstore concealers. Just to run through them again, I have my Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda Palette, which is my ultimate favourite. My Rimmel Match Perfection, which is for my under eye circles. Um, Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection, which is more of a kind of high coverage concealer. And then Witch Concealer, which which, 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 helps to treat blemishes as well as conceal them. So they are my top four favourites. And then on to my worst ones. And I actually have three. Normally in my best and worst videos, I have um, like five favourites and then one worst. But this time I have three. And two of them are from the same company. And it's kind of strange because they're both Rimmel. Um, and obviously I just mentioned the Rimmel Match Perfection, which I really, really love. But these two from Rimmel I'm not a fan of, I have to say. The first one is the Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, dual action concealer. Now this is meant to do pretty much the same thing as the witch concealer does. If you can see here it has a kind of green core there um, which is meant to 
firstly kind of tone the concealer slightly green I think so that it conceals redness and secondly it's meant to treat the blemish as well the main problems I find with this, you can see it here applied, is that it is very, very thick and very, very dry. This is really, really light. This I had, I got this in the winter, so um, my skin was a lot lighter then. But I just find that this is really kind of dry. It leaves your blemishes just looking horrible. Like you don't want your blemishes to look like that. So um, the Stay Matte dual action concealer I'm not a big fan of. The fact that it says stay matte does hint to me that it's meant for oily skin but even if I have kind of an oily spot rather than a dried out spot I find this is just too heavy and it just looks kind of cakey on the spot so not a fan of that. And then the second rimmel one I know there's going to be people that disagree with me about this because this is a very very popular one it's the hide the blemish concealer which comes in a lipstick tube like that and I find this a similar thing it's just a little bit thick and difficult to blend. It's easier than the other one as you can see there. It is easier to blend than the Stay Matte one but I still just find that this really draws attention to blemishes and doesn't really cover them up as well. If you're going to go for a stick concealer I would recommend going for the Witch one because personally I find this to be a lot more creamy and it, even though it is kind of easier to blend and not as matte it definitely stays on all day anyway so yeah. Definitely go for the Witch one if you're looking for a stick concealer. And then my final concealer, which is definitely the worst of the worst that I have tried, is the e.l.f. Corrective Concealer from their studio line. Now, I used this in a tutorial, um, gosh, it must have been nearly a year ago now. Maybe not a year ago, maybe kind of nine months ago. And um, when I first got it, I was quite excited about it because I didn't have, I hadn't tried a corrective concealer before. But actually, after using this for a while, um, the consistency of these is just awful like the pigmentation for a start is really really bad if you can see there this is seriously rubbing rubbing my fingers in these colors as well and they're just like when you apply them they're just they're just kind of greasy and obviously they don't stay on the blemish or kind of redness whatever you're trying to cover up they don't stay on for that long because they are kind of greasy they tend to slide off so you do need to powder them um, even though this is cheap I just think you could do so much better elsewhere like if you compare this to the Sonia Kashuk palette there's just absolutely no comparison I know this is three times more expensive but it's still um, only ten dollars so you can't really go wrong with this whereas this um, I just really really wouldn't recommend it because it's just not a nice product. The product is not a good consistency. It doesn't stay on. And the colour correctors are a little bit too obvious, whereas with the Sonia Kashuk one, I just absolutely love the fact that the green tone concealer just has a hint of green mixed into it, so you don't have to worry about putting green on and then covering it up and things like that. So, um, e.l.f. corrective concealer, not a big fan. So yeah, that is it for my drugstore concealers video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely let me know if you have any recommendations for any other drugstore concealers. Let me know in the comments below. My best and worst drugstore blushes is coming up next, so keep an eye out for that in a couple of weeks. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.